Hey everyone, welcome back. Figma has changed a lot of stuff over the past few months. The new UI3 updates, Figma AI and so much more. However, they have de completely destroyed or removed or hidden some of my favorite features. Some of the things which I feel are going to change Figma completely over the next two to three years. The first biggest change which is also very close to my heart is Figma community. They've completely changed it from a community where new people, new designers can come, post plugins, assets, UI kits, whatever they like, and they would get recognized for that work. That was amazing. I have been on the trending tab of Figma community so many times with some of the resources that I've made that gave me a boost to keep on making more. And everything I've done on this platform is free for the community. However, they have removed the community aspect. The word community is now just being used without it being a community. Every asset you see on board has a minimum of 20, 30,000 downloads. A lot of these have hundreds of thousands of downloads and it's only showing the most popular, the top, the editor's choice kind of material that they want you to see. This is more like a marketplace now than a community. Even if I go into more plugins, which brings all the Figma plugins, there are no filters anymore. The new filters is gone. If I want a new plugin or if I want to search some new cool plugins, how do I do that anymore? Because now until you search for something particular or something based on what you are currently looking for, you will not see the new assets anymore, which is very heartbreaking. The main page should be just for the community, but it's no more that. Okay, so this next one is a sad news for Figma AI. It's still in limited beta, so if you haven't gotten the feature yet, chances are you are amongst millions of people. Of course, you'll get it by the end of the year. However, there is a catch. AI features are currently free while in beta. So as long as it's a beta tool, they will keep it free. However, however, there will be of course usage limits. So you can only use it a few times. You'll have tokens, etc. But eventually, so probably by next year, there will be a price range under which you will be able to use AI. You'll probably have to get a paid plan, one of the paid plans to be able to use Figma AI. There might even be a smaller price for just a few features, including limited AI. That is what I am anticipating right now. As soon as you get it, maybe in three to four months after that, you'll stop seeing it unless you start paying for it. Next one is a hidden feature that they mentioned and I think it's super useful. It's called suggested auto layout, which on the screen you will not be able to find absolutely anywhere. To actually find this feature, you will have to go to the bottom here, which is now the assets panel, and you'll have to type in auto layout and only then you will be able to get suggest auto layout right here. There is a keyboard shortcut right here, written right here, which you can memorize. However, I wish it was part of the panel on the right where auto layout does exist. Now this is really useful because you can select anything on screen, go to suggest auto layout right here, and it will suggest an auto layout automatically. And this will give proper spacing, even spacing, and it can help you reduce your auto layout times by half. So that is pretty useful. The plugins panel here has become completely terrible, to be honest. And the reason being, it is now a part of this little actions menu on the bottom under plugins and widgets, of course. You can see an endless list of plugins right here, which you can quickly filter through or search from. However, now if I want to see the details of a plugin, it is not as intuitive as just me selecting the plugin and clicking on run. Now I have to go to this little menu, click on view details, and this now opens it up in another window at the bottom. So now, unless you access this window right here, you cannot see the details of a plugin absolutely at all. Earlier, it was much better. I'll put a picture in the background of how it looked like earlier and how it looks like now, you already know it. The old plugins panel or the widgets panel existed here as well. Also, the previous one was so much more organized under different categories or under different titles that you could quickly go through your recent ones, your saved ones, the ones which are new, etc. quickly. Here, there is no such distinction. The next feature here is the lack of the toolbar on top for the quick actions. Whenever you used to select elements, there used to be quick actions that were right here on the top, which are now bundled here and sometimes even hidden inside a menu. 
So until you go inside one of these, you will not find the features you might be looking for, which used to be on the top panel here. So this panel, the top panel has now been hidden under this properties panel, which kind of makes sense because now it's under one entire panel. However, the ones on top were very useful at times as well as had the ruler right below it. So again, a lot of people will find that a little irritating to begin with. Now, another feature which I am very confused by and I feel that using it to impress companies like Microsoft, Apple, Google, etc. is the libraries panel or the assets panel here. Now, inside the assets panel, you can actually add libraries. However, I can only see Google's material design and Apple's iOS 8 and iPad OS right here with the Figma one as well. Now, I wish we could do this for the entire library from the community so that you can see community driven or community designed UI kits and design systems here, which is now right now a completely absolutely missing feature. Okay, one I am really, really missing and I don't know how I'm going to get used to this one is the panel on the left with all my team projects. So if I have different teams, I have to open now a drop down. Earlier, it used to be a scroll, quick scrollable list, which was so much better. Here, I cannot see any search bar or anything. So if I have say hundreds of teams or hundreds of projects, etc., I don't know where that will go, to be honest. Earlier, the scrollable, scrollable section was so much more amazing. The next thing that they're going to be taking away is going to make a lot of people devastated. Right now, inside Figma, if you look at the bottom right, you can click on this question mark and go to the previous UI. So before UI 3, the older UI, you can still access from here. But once UI 3 becomes available to everyone, after a short period of time, they are going to be removing the previous UI. So everyone will have to use this new UI 3 that they've created. A lot of people do not like it and a lot of people don't have access to it at the same time. So this feature is very essential to have at the bottom, right? However, this feature is going to go away. I know for sure because most software companies, when they change their designs, do a process like this. So expect it to go away very soon. Tell me in the comments if you found a feature gone from Figma or certain things that have been hidden which irritate you, write down in the comments and also hit the like button if you agree with me on this one. That really helps me create more videos similar to this. I'll see you every week, same time, same place. Until next time, take care. God bless.